Welcome, Leo, to 1111 Tarot, January 2021. All right, my lovelies, here we go. This is the 1111 Wheel of Life. This is how I do my spreads on this channel. And as a center, our information comes from great source, our great spirit, whatever that is for you. And we're going to work around. So here we go, Leos. I'm excited to get started. So this is Whispers of Love Oracle deck. I like to use that because great spirit to me is unconditional love. All decks have been pre-smudged, pre-shuffled, and pre-meditated on prior to using in your read. Oh, 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 I have an announcement. If you want to learn tarot in this month, in January, there is going to be an opportunity for you. For all subscribers and followers, I'm going to be doing a live interactive tarot course. Live interactive... What else? What else? Can't think. Yeah, that's about it. Details are following. Um, it's just to thank you guys for everything that you do for me and this channel. And I think it's going to be a great deal of fun. So if you want to learn tarot, just hit the subscribe button so that you stay in the loop or hit that follow button, whatever media platform you're on. I'm going to cut these one more time, Leo. Okay, we're going to take that one. Let's get started with your read. All right. Leo, 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 what do we have? Great Spirit says, have patience. Love is patient and kind always. And this little child has is kneeling on like what looks to be a lily flower, which actually lotus, if you will, come up from the murky, murky bottoms of the dirt and the darkness and they come up and they bloom into this beautiful flower and it's like you found your innocence if you will definitely something to do with childhood um yeah these mountains that you've climbed look at the hands that reach out across Wow. Very, very deep emotions from long ago are surfacing. You have a 17. Um, that is an 8 for a root number. Look at the fish. It's like really calling out to me. <clears throat> fish Lake might mean something to you. It's this whole hometown feeling. I feel like your past is coming up, Leo, and I think you're going to have some of that um, nostalgic feeling coming up. And with that always comes, like we call in the past, and so it leads to decisions. But you definitely have um, some guidance here that, that you're going to need to just take it slow. And remember, the divine is always embracing you, much like this flower with this child, you're blooming and there is going to be some growth pains, okay? So, my lovelies, let's grab the Chakra Wisdom Tarot. We're going to go through the Earth. Well, actually, our air, our earth, our fire, and water. And see what we have. So, let's get your energy in this. There was a card that started to sneak out. Um, and then it, it went back into place. So, we'll leave it. Here we go. We're going to go with our air, which this is our 5D collective speaking to us. And how are they co-creating with us? This is our earth, our material realm, our south node. tells us what we're currently working on and what's going to be manifested. And then we're going to go into the west, the fire, our ancestors, and then our north, our water, spiritual side. All right, let's see what the 5D collective offers. Are you serious? <gasps> The universe is handing out a gift. This is a very special gift, Leo. Do you see the light colors in the dress? It's like a mirrored reflection of your higher self. But the universe is saying, the 5D is saying, you are being given an exquisite gift because you have made some very good choices. 
Leo, it's time for rewards. Be patient for the rewards. These come in in, in a divine timing. You've heard that many times in your life, I'm sure. All right, here we go. Your contribution in your south node is the chariot. Are you serious? Both are major arcana cards. So this is a victorious. You will be victorious. It's red. It's passion. It feels uh, very much 3D. Leo, I feel like there's something being manifested that you're co-creating with the universe, with the divine, with source. We're going to find out a lot more when it comes to spirit here um, of the ancestors, what they're going to say. My nose is itchy. Ugh. Spirit is with us. That's what I always say. I want to take a look at a little bit more about this scene. She doesn't see this. You won't see this coming in. This is going to come in very quickly. Very passionate. I'm trying to see what is white all over this snow. Or feathers. It's snow. And yet it's flames everywhere. Might be talking about um, you have a water sign coming in. Um, I do see this fish. And then I also see the snow. So fire might be getting mixed with water. You do not see this opportunity coming. It will come in swift. And it is being handed directly to you. And it is coming up from the depths. Very deep, deep. Passionate. Leo, this is going to be incredible. It is divinely guided. You have the 17, which is the 8, and that's the infinity symbol. Um, you have the 3, which is also very important, and then you have a 7. So it is coming in. I just do not even think you see this coming in the least. Let's move up here and see what ancestors speak. In our fire, you've got fire color, right? This new beginning. Leo, you do not see this coming. Um, I always see the roots of how deep her roots go. Or an octopus tentacles and the tree behind her spread way out. You have no idea how far away you reach. Your reach of your energy stretches far beyond your understanding of how you affect things. This is a beautiful new beginning. You will feel innocent and like a child. It's a rebirth. That is possibly this gift is this rebirth and it's coming in. And I mean, rebirth of abundance, all this red is love and the universe is telling you have patience. And it says, love is patient and kind always. I'm just very moved. I'm going to scrunch you ahead. Leo, I'm just really happy for you. Okay, here we go, lovelies. Here we go. This is important. This is really important here. This is your water. This is your spiritual success. Justice. Drop the phone. Sort up, words being said, magic at her fingertips. That's like Excalibur. She was able to um, hold that sword up and prevail. And justice, the scales are balanced. Libra energy doesn't have to be. Um, I want to show you something that I've never had happen, Leo. You have the magical touch. You have four major arcanas. I don't know if you can see my goosebumps. My hair is standing on edge. It's time. I knew I was feeling the magic. The universe is going to show you how much you loved and how hard you've been working. And this is going to be incredible. Leo, this is just beautiful. I feel so emotional. 
You're going to cry. You are going to cry. This is happiness. The magic touch. The Midas touch. I mean, it's just happening. Let's go over here. I'm so excited. I want to get over here and get where you are in your cycle. I know you don't know it now. There are some adjustments you're going to make. Third quarter moon. Um, <laughs> the adjustments that are required are going to be allowing this blessing to come in. And the adjustments is just relaxing and enjoy the now. You are loved as a child is loved. You are naturally beautiful. Um, the Empress is handing you an amazing gift. Here we go. Where are you headed? This is the adjustment. Leo, step out of your comfort zone. North node. Where's your north node? It's right here, your water. What do you have? Justice. To get justice, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone. So this is going to require some adjustments, but it is Im 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 important. This is huge. This is all major arcanas on the board. We're going to get a different tarot deck. I don't know the name of this one. We're going to use it to clarify the four pillars here. All right. Here we go, Leo. I am just in shock and awe of how exquisite this read is for you. Um, you've got from the 5D, the Empress, your South Node, the Chariot, from your ancestors, the Fool, and your North Node, the most important direction of alignment, and this is your higher path. You have justice, and justice shall prevail. Truth always wins, right, Leo? Truth always wins. Here we are, my lovelies. We're going to clarify this beautiful empress and see what gifts are being brought in and communicated. This is all about your mind, your concept, tele um, telepathy from the 5D. In illumination, you have the Four of Cups, clarity, the will of fortune, wisdom, two of swords. You have a decision. Because things are changing. Things have changed. Um, in illumination, I want to point something out. There's a cup being offered to you. Don't miss it. How do you miss it? Not being willing to take a leap of faith. That's how you can miss this. So the divine is showing you. I'm handing you this cup. You can trust this cup right here. This is a leap of faith. You're focused over here on the past and other opportunities, but the divine is handing you this cup and it's being shown to you in illumination from the 5D. Who's handing it to you? Your higher self is handing you this cup. I feel very strongly that you need to pay very close attention to the opportunities coming in and let go of these three cups. Focus in on what you need to focus. Because in your clarity, this is the balance of the universe being restored. And this wheel is turning for you. And this always goes in your favor. Because it's the wheel of fortune. And it's very clear to you. Being given to you. But in your wisdom, everybody has free will. And you're going with them to decide. So when this comes to you, you have a huge decision to make. You will be victorious. Know that. Because you have this opportunity being offered of extreme justice from the universe. Let's clarify this chariot. I want to get over here in your trial and error. This is your emotional um part of your psyche and this is the chariot saying you know victory winner yeah this is beautiful in love clarifying you have the ace of pentacle 
in trust, Leo, a page of swords, and in growth. Whoa, you're going to love it. So in love, this is um, a very passionate opportunity of stability in the 3D. This affects, affects your home, your foundation. It's being manifested. You are co-creating this. This is financial stability. This is um, long term. It's pinnacle. You have the Page of Swords, trust. You might be in the light and being watched. You may have a YouTube channel. You may have um, a media platform. It, it may be that you're in communication in the field. Maybe you write, you sing, you perform. Um, trust that you will be victorious. You will be seen. It is like recognition here and uh, followers, people that are understanding where you're coming from. And this is a stable b b beginning. Did you hear my b b beginning? I stuttered. It is definitely communication. I feel like I should remind you the end of January, we do go back into retrograde. So all through the month of January until that point, you are going to grow exponentially. It is growth. It is full growth. And it is because you're very passionate with this. This is something that is going to feed your inspiration. It is going to feel completely aligned with you. You are going to grow with this in a natural way. It will just be absolutely beautiful. Now, you're going to have to leave your comfort zone to do it. What are you going to be doing? Are you going to be bungee jumping? I don't know. Um, you're going to have to leave your comfort zone. There's something you're going to have to leave. You may be bringing in um, your face on camera would be that. Or hearing your voice for the first time. Or maybe you're writing a book. You always wanted to write. Whatever it is, it's extremely creative. And it's very helpful to others it serves a higher purpose because the divine is aligned with it so it is serving and it is justice is being served you are on your you are on your life purpose it is aligned and it is this new beginning the divine is going to stretch you your comfort yeah you're being stretched out and you're going to feel this a little bit. Let me readjust here, make sure we get a good view of this. We're going to clarify this absolutely exquisite fool card. Um, like I said, the branch is reaching out. Here we go. Let me get, there we go. Camera. Introspection. Oof, duh. Seven of Swords not feeling good enough. Dream. Ten of Cups. Experience. Six of Swords. Yeah, this isn't easy. This is easy as hell to look at. Um, basically, Leo, it works out that your confidence is going to be key. Introspection in the past. You may have faced a lot of challenges and um, had conflict, honestly. Uh, feeling like you weren't good enough. Feeling like you walked away from something to where... You just felt like you just wanted to leave something behind. But you pack up your stuff and you're out. Um, people may have hurt you. People may have um, done you dirty. Broke your trust and introspect. Um, introspect. A lot of that is going to be healed. And you're, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone and get back up on the horse. Because you look at this child, the child will continue to rebuild the tower no matter how many times it's knocked down. And you just have to keep going. And it's going to be a struggle. It is. You have to come up from this murky bottom. And you have to bloom like the flower that you are. And that takes confidence to continue to redo it. What you got here is in your perspective, you're happy by doing this. This brings you complete satisfaction. It may bring in stability right into the family. The whole family, the foundation is solid and beautiful. It's the Ten of Cups. It's your happy home, happy life. 
in your experience, you're going to find that this is something that brings you to a much calmer place. You can see there is land ho. Um, and this is a family, again, being moved to a much more stable position. So you got a leap of faith coming. You have a giant leap of faith and you have to jump out of your camp. Um, I almost said cancer. Leo, you may be coming across a water sign. Um, just because I keep coming back up with this fish. Um, we've got snow mixed in with the fire. You're the fire sign. And cups is about water. Emotion. Could just simply be that you're going to be functioning under more of your water part in your chart to look at your birth chart, right? My ears are doing some crazy crap right now. So we have some great information coming in. This justice is about to be clarified in a very unique way through our spiritual success because that that in itself is why this blessing is being given and this is being used differently this is more or less explaining to you and i've never done this before leo this is explaining to you the reason for the rewards um and the challenges that you've overcome in cleansing you planted the right seeds with the seven of pentacles um renewal you did the healing. You have the star. Therefore, this is the wish. And in purity, you have the moon. You have basically um, gotten past the illusion. And you are seeing things very clearly. You found the yin and the yang. There is something you don't see. It's the reward. It's the reward of this renewal. You get to start fresh. Renewal. You can't get any better than renewal of the star. Um, you may quite well be blowing up on your channel and becoming the star of whatever it is. Whatever your creative venture is, once you take this leap of faith and you step out of your comfort zones, which is the adjustment required, you are going to be the star. And that is what is going to be seen. You have the star and the moon. How balanced is that? The yin and the yang. Because think about it. The sun is the star. Or I should say star. And this is the moon. It's the yin and the yang. You found your balance within. Now in cleansing, I will tell you, you know, you don't want to pass this opportunity. It's not a waiting game any longer. It's grab it. This is harvest time in this position because you do, you're paired up with the justice. I want you to really look at your outcome. Two major arcanas here out of three. The message, the base of the message is in the cleansing place on the 1111 Wheel of Life, which is the Pisces. It's the 12th house. When you look at 12, it's the unseen realm. It's the dreams, the secrets, the subconscious. And the subconscious is trying to get you to hold back. You have to reprogram because you are healed. The healing is taking place. This will be a beautiful, beautiful outcome. Leo, let's count them. You've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven major arcana out of ten placements. Seven out of ten ain't bad to have major arcana. Seven out of ten are my hand is trembling, which is not normal. I'm just so excited for you. This is exquisite. It's coming, my lovely. Continue the path that you are. Be patient. Be kind. Keep planting. Don't give up. Nourish these seeds. Treat them as your own child. Justice is coming in. You do have some adjustments. You might be putting your face on camera. You might be talking in front of everybody. Who knows? But if you do it, it's everything you desire. It's everything you desire. Because in love, the universe is handing it to you. The universe is saying, they're being patient and kind always with you because it's true love. And uh, I love you to the moon and back. Much love, much light. Thank you, Leo. Namaste.